What's up guys, Xbox Mod 360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to save any VIP outfit in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online after patch 1.32. So what's awesome about this glitch is that it's a solo glitch, you won't need anybody else to help you out, all you're going to need is enough money to go into VIP mode. So a lot of you probably saw my recent video or a lot of other recent videos by YouTubers on the new method on how to get any bodyguard outfit. Well, the method I'm showing you guys right here will let you save any of the VIP outfits, which you normally wouldn't be able to save using that other glitch. It'll let you save any of those permanently into your outfits forever. And for those of you who didn't know, this kimono looking outfit that I'm wearing is one of those VIP outfits. There's also the outfit with the headphones around the neck, the outfit with the black combat vest. There's also the suit that has a bunch of different logos all over it. So all of these outfits are VIP only outfits. You wouldn't be able to get them using that new bodyguard outfit glitch that I just showed you guys. And this glitch will allow you to save them permanently into your saved outfits. So I forgot to mention this earlier, but along with that million dollars to be a VIP, you guys will also need an apartment, a yacht, or a house. Just something where you have a shower. And I'm not entirely sure, but I think you can use a friend shower as well. But anyways, before you even start the glitch, what you're going to want to do is come into your wardrobe or to a clothing store. Go to the outfit section and make sure at the very bottom it says hit X2 or whatever the button is. It allows you to edit the outfits. There's been this weird bug going around where people will go into their wardrobe and they'll be able to put on their different saved outfits but they won't be able to edit them like change the names or change the clothes at all. So let me tell you it would really suck if you do this glitch and then you get to your wardrobe and it doesn't let you save the outfit so check beforehand make sure it lets you save new outfits and stuff like that. If it doesn't all you have to do is quit out of GTA completely turn off your console and restart it. So once you guys have double checked that you're all set and you're good to start the glitch. Now I have to start off by telling you that the first part of this glitch is the the world's most annoying and time consuming and tedious thing in the world basically what you have to do is go into VIP mode and let the timer run out and the VIP timer is four hours so that that kind of sucks you have to wait until the very end of the VIP timer and that's when you do the glitch and there's no way around it really nobody has found a way around it yet with the bodyguard method it was much quicker because you can just have the VIP dismiss you as a bodyguard at any time but while you're a VIP you can't have anybody dismiss you because you are the boss so if you guys have a 4 hour window where you know you'll be able to play and not really be interrupted then I guess you're fine but for me I didn't so what I did was I went into VIP mode I played for like an hour or so or however long I had and then when I had to go I held down the home button on my Xbox One controller to turn my system off while I was still in the online session and what I noticed is when I signed back on and went into a new online session later on in the day or the next day, I was still in VIP mode and my timer was where I left it. So if you guys want to do it in chunks like I did, you guys can do that. Just make sure you don't do anything that's going to cause you to exit VIP mode and reset that timer. So once you guys get it down to about 5 minutes, and you guys can check the time by holding the back button or the interaction menu button. It'll show you guys it like it says on my screen right here. You want to get it down to about 5 minutes or so. Come up to your apartment or wherever you're using the shower. And you guys are just going to come and put on a normal looking outfit like the one you see me wearing right here. No logos or anything like that. I mean the outfit that you wear beforehand doesn't really make a big deal at all. But once you're wearing some normal looking clothes you're then going to go into the VIP menu. And you're going to put on the outfit that you want to save. So this is under management and then you're going to go to style. And I'm just going to show you guys all the different clothes you can wear. There's maybe about 10 different outfits. There's that suit, the kimono looking outfit which is the one I'm going to get. There's a couple different ones that don't look as impressive. The one with the headphones around the neck is kind of cool looking. And you guys are just going to select the outfit that you want to get and equip it to your character so that he's wearing it once you exit the interaction menu. Now make sure you do this all with enough time left on the clock that you don't run out. Once you're wearing the VIP outfit, you're then going to come inside of the bathroom and let the door fully shut. Don't have anybody come in with you or hold the door open at all. Let the door fully shut because once the door fully shuts, you'll be able to access the shower. You won't be able to access it until the door is shut though. And as you guys just saw, it took a little while for the shower option to pop up on my screen. So give yourself enough time, you know, come in here with maybe a minute or two left on the clock. And what you're going to want to do is just watch the timer while you're standing in the bathroom. And when it gets down to maybe 20 or 30 seconds, you guys are then going to want to use that option to enter the shower. And what you're going to notice is when you enter the shower, it takes your character's clothes off. So you guys just entered the shower with the VIP outfit. It took the VIP outfit off your character and they should now be naked with about 20 or 30 seconds left on that VIP timer. You guys are just going to shower until the VIP timer runs out. So it'll give you guys a little notification like that on your screen when you run out of VIP time. And you'll see your character now wearing that outfit that you originally wore before you put on the VIP outfit. Once you see that outfit on, you guys can then exit the shower. 
And when you guys get out of the shower, you'll notice that you're now wearing that VIP outfit that you originally entered the shower with. So as you can see, I'm wearing that red kimono looking outfit right here. All you have to do is then go over to the wardrobe or to a clothing store. And because you guys are no longer in VIP mode, it'll let you alter your clothing and you can save this as a new saved outfit. Now, you guys can definitely see why I had you stress the fact that you were able to save outfits in the beginning and that that little bug wasn't affecting you because it would really, really suck if you got to this point and you couldn't save it. So that's pretty much all there is to this glitch. After you save it into your saved outfits, you're now saved. You can equip it whenever you want from the interaction menu, from a clothing store, from your wardrobe, anywhere you want. It's in your saved outfits permanently. You guys can also change up stuff on the outfit like different pieces of clothing and stuff like that. So the biggest part of this glitch is obviously that four hour wait time. All I can suggest is just play it safe. Don't do anything that's going to make you exit VIP mode prematurely. And above all, keep watching that timer. You know, you guys can just like kind of time it out and know exactly when it's going to go off and maybe set a reminder on your iPhone or something like that. Just watch that timer and make sure you get to an apartment when you need to be there. So that's going to wrap up this glitch. I cannot take credit for it, guys. I did find it on somebody else's channel, and I'm going to link him below. I'm not sure if he's the original founder, and I can't recall his name right now, and I'm sorry for that, but... I don't know if he's the original founder, maybe somebody found it before him, but whoever found it is a genius because I wouldn't have thought of it and it's such a simple method really. While it is time consuming, it is extremely simple and it does work 99% of the time as long as you do it right. But anyways guys, that's going to wrap up this glitch. If you found it helpful or interesting in any way, hit that like button below. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing GTA 5 content just like this. So as always guys, thank you for watching from Xbox Mod 360.